Hi guys, today's video I'm going to be doing a near full face using Sisley products. I did a haul video quite a while ago now showing the Sisley products that I picked up and now I finally got a chance to do a video using them. Now most of these products have been around for quite a long time. There are a couple of more new recent releases. I picked up three of the Fito Rouge Shine Lip Balms. These are absolutely gorgeous and I have used a couple of them and one of the colours is definitely a favourite. It's really beautiful. And I also picked up a couple of the Longwear Liquid Eyeshadows and I've tried them out as well and I think that they are gorgeous as well. Because there can be issues with liquid eyeshadows sometimes. They don't apply that well but these apply really, really beautifully. So I haven't got any primer on, I've just got all my skincare on and of course I've got on my SPF, my face, neck and hands. So the primer that I'm going to use, it is a Sisley one, it is the Double Tensure and this is a really lovely primer. It just makes your skin look really perfected and gives a really great base for the foundation. So I'm just going to take a pump of this and just put this on this is really lovely it has skincare ingredients in it as well and it just gives a really beautiful finish and it has a very slight you can feel the grip that it leaves really for the foundation it's a really really beautiful primer and the foundation that i'm going to use is the anti-aging foundation and this is in the shade 2.r organza this is a skincare foundation. It is really, really beautiful. And with my oily skin, I find that I can wear this both in winter and in the warmer months as well. So I'll just start off by putting one pump on the back of my hand. And I'm going to put it on using a brush. This is a Sonia G brush. This is the travel set that she recently put out. And it has the natural and synthetic fibers and is exactly the same size is her one of her fusion brushes it's the jumbo base one it's just that this has a smaller handle for the travel set but it is exactly the same so i'm just going to use that to put the foundation on so this foundation has a scent definitely has a fragrance i don't find that it lingers but i know that there's some people they don't like fragrance in their foundation. This does smell really beautiful. So the foundation gives a really beautiful finish. I think it gives a really smooth look to the skin. I think this also blues the pores to some degree as well. And I would say it has a medium finish. Now you can see after I put it on, it definitely has a glow to it. So like with all the other foundations that I use with my oily skin, I will be powdering this down. And I have got the Sisley, it's the loose face powder. And this is in the shade 2 matte. So I'm just going to take my Lumiere brush and buff that powder in. And these two together, the Sisley powder with the foundation, it's like a... <laughs> marriage made in heaven really both together i think they just look really really beautiful so for the concealer i've got the sisley this is the fito eclat and this is in the shade number two and i've had this concealer for quite a while and it's just lasting me ages this is really beautiful concealer i wouldn't say it gives a full coverage it would give a medium coverage but it has really beautiful skincare ingredients so it's the perfect concealer where it gives enough coverage and it doesn't dry down because even though i have oily skin i don't want to become dry under here Otherwise, it just emphasizes the lines that I have, and this concealer I find is really perfect. And it's quite an unusual shade in that it has a slight peach tinge to it as well. But once you put it on, you can't see the peachiness at all. So it's almost like a concealer and corrector in one. Now, it does have this steel tip on the end. So you can either, there's different ways you can put it on. So you just need the tiniest amount. You can always add a little bit more if you want, 
but it probably just pays to start off with a small amount first. So you can just use the tip itself and just like with all my other concealers, I put some in the inner corner to begin with and then either I just use my fingers straight away and tap it out or I use a brush as well and then still go over with my fingers after. So what I'll do is I'll use the brush first. This is the Sonia G. This is a soft concealer brush and I'll just use this just to spread the product under my eye just very, very gently. And then what I do is just press the product in using my finger. There's just something about using the warmth of your finger that just makes the concealers that I have just give that extra really beautiful finish and just make sure things don't crease. And then for powder under my eyes, I'm going to use, this is the Fairly Newly Release, this isn't Sisley, this is the Westman Atelier, this is the Vital Pressed Skincare Powder, and this is in the shade Creme. So I just put a bit on my finger, and again, I just start in the inner corner, and just using that small amount, just slowly press it over the concealer. And what I love about this powder, this one and the By Terry, I love as well, is that they set the concealer down, but they don't dry things out. Because as I was saying earlier, even with the concealer and again with the powder, I want things to set and look really lovely, but I don't want it to dry down. Because as soon as things start drying down too much, then that's when your lines will become emphasized. So I've now done my eyebrows and I don't have a Sisley eyebrow pencil. I use the one that I use every single day and that is the Chanel one. And everything that I am putting on my face today will be listed in the description box below. I've also got eyeshadow primer on because I have oily skin. I also have oily eyelids. And if I don't wear eyeshadow primer, then no eyeshadow lasts on me. And then over the top of the eyebrow pencil, I always use this. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I find this really good. It manages to keep my eyebrows in place all day. So now I'm going to put on some bronzer. Now my makeup look is going to be very soft. Not much has got a lot of punch to it, but I think it's a really beautiful everyday look. So the bronzer that I got is the Fito Touch one, and this is the Sun Glow Powder. And there are two shades in this bronzer, I think. And this one is the Trio Peche Dore. And it also comes with this little brush. I wouldn't really use it, but the brush itself, I'll hold it up. It actually is really cute. And the bristles feel super soft, but it's just a bit too little for me for putting on bronzer. But it is a really lovely brush. And here is the bronzer, and this is the packaging on the outside. It's really lovely. It has a huge mirror inside, and the powder looks like Neapolitan ice cream with the pink and then the lighter color and then the bronzer up the top here. So what I'm going to do is just swirl all three colors together and use this as a bronzer. So I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is the Niji Pro brush, and just swirl it all in together. And I'm concentrating a little bit more up the top, otherwise this is going to be too light. So a bit more of the dark color, and then I'll just add the two other shades as well. So this is quite soft. There is a darker one available, and I probably will pick that up at some stage. But I think this still gives a really beautiful, subtle bronze to the face and warms things up just in a very subtle way. I think it's really gorgeous. And I do love how this blends. It blends out really beautifully. And I also think it looks gorgeous on the skin as well. And I think that the name they've given this bronzer, the Sun Glow Powder, is the perfect name for it because it really just gives a very subtle sun-kissed look to the skin. I think this is really beautiful 
and just really flattering on my mature skin. I think it looks really, really gorgeous. So for my eyeshadow look, I'm only going to use two different shades and I'm going to use one of the single eyeshadows and then I'll use one of the liquid eyeshadows as well. But I will show you these two eyeshadows that I picked up as well as the two liquid ones. And I also have another two singles in my collection. So I'll show them all to you. So the first one that I picked up was number 21 and this is Matte Coco. This is a really beautiful shade it's quite a deep color these have a tiny little applicator sponge in them if you haven't seen them before and a small mirror so here is the shade matte cocoa and i hope the camera can pick that up it's a really beautiful deep chocolate shade this is absolutely beautiful so i'll be using this shade today and the other shade that i picked up is number 25 and that is metallic khaki and this is a really lovely shade as well. So I'll just hold that one up. So this is Metallic Khaki, number 25. If I turn it that way, you can see the reflect on it. It's really, really beautiful. And the two that I already had, these are both satins. And one is called Silky Rose. It's number 12. And the other one is Silky Chestnut, and that's number 20. So I'll just swatch these on the back of my hand so you can see what they all look like. So this is the one Matte Coco, number 21. And then we have Metallic Khaki, that is number 25. And this one is Silky Chestnut, number 20. And finally, we have Silky Rose, and that is number 12. So this one is a matte, then we have a metallic, and the two that I bought quite a while ago, these are both satin finishes. And the two long wear liquid eyeshadows that I picked up, I picked up number one and number three. Number one is champagne, and number three is pink gold. I have tried these and really, really beautiful. So I'll show you the packaging of these liquid eyeshadows. These are made of France and they have 6.5 ml of product. Really lovely packaging and at the front there you have the Sicily logo and a gold band. And these are just a screw off top and they have a doe foot applicator. So I'll swatch both of these liquid eyeshadows on the back of my hand as well. So you can take a look. These are really beautiful. They also blend really beautifully too. So here is Champagne and this one is Pink Gold. Now the one I'll be using today is the shade Champagne. So we'll start off with the Matte Coco and I'm going to take the Rafa number 14. And I'm going to place this, I'm only using the two shades. So this one, I'm putting more of the pigment on the outer corner. I'm going to take this through the crease as well, the shade. And then I'm going to blend it up. Now I have used this shade. It was probably about a month or two ago. And it was really beautiful. And it also blended really beautifully as well. So you can get the initial pigment and then you can get that really lovely light gradient as you blend up. Then I'm going to take the Sony G Pencil 1, still using this shade here and I'm going to put that under my lower lash line just through here and I'm going to take it all the way across and I'm just going to dip into the shade again and just add a bit more depth on the outer corner. So for the liquid eyeshadow this is the shade Champagne now you can do it two ways. If you don't want to use the doe foot applicator straight on your eye, because you really just need 
quite a small bit and the doe foot can place quite a lot on and I really just want the shade just through here and then I'm going to bring it up slightly in here as well. So you can always just dab some on the back of your hand and then get either, well you can use your finger or the brush, I'm going to use this Chukahodo brush and take the liquid eyeshadow from there and just dab it on with your finger or with the brush, either way works. I'm going to use the applicator straight on my eye. I do wipe off quite a bit of the excess and I'm just going to place it on there. Now this does dry down, but it doesn't dry down too quickly. You have got time to blend the eyeshadow. These just work really, really beautifully and I think they look absolutely gorgeous. I love it that they don't emphasize the texture on my eye. I think they're just really beautiful. And then just exactly the same on the other eye. Just place some product on. And then I'll just take my brush again and just blend it through. Some liquid eyeshadows, they don't tend to blend very well, whereas these do. I find, and I just sort of tap with the brush, but they blend out really beautifully. And then I just take the excess just up through here. And then I'm going to put some of this shade under here and in my inner corner as well. So to do that, I'm not going to use the doe foot applicator. I'm just going to put some product on the back of my hand and then just take a smaller brush, something like the Rafa 3, or I'll wipe this one down. This is the Sonia G Pencil 1 and just pick up a little bit of product. And I'm going to put some of that highlight through here. And then to add some definition to my upper lash line as well as my lower lash line, I'm going to use the Sisley Eyeliner. This is the one in Sparkling Brown. So I've now put on some mascara and it wasn't a Sicily mascara. Now in my Sicily haul that I did two or three months ago, I did pick up a Sicily mascara and it was the volume one. And I didn't really like how it went on my lashes. It tended to clump a bit, just tended to clump the lashes together. And I gave it quite a few tries because sometimes with the mascara, when you first open them up, they sort of improve over time and this didn't. So I ended up throwing that one out. The mascara that I've got on is the Chanel Le Volume and it's my absolute favorite mascara. I absolutely love it. So this is the finished eye look and with just two shadows together, really, really beautiful. I love this deep matte cocoa. It blends beautifully and it's buildable so you can get pigment and it blends up so you can get that really gorgeous gradient and the liquid eyeshadows are just stunning and I love this color champagne. So just with the use of two I think you can get a really beautiful eye look. So now we'll put on some blush and I picked up two blushes. These are the really beautiful, these are the highlighter blushes with Lily and these are just stunning. So the two that I picked up were Rose and I also picked up the one Coral. Now the one that I'm going to use today is the one Rose but I will show you them both. So these blushes have 15 grams of product and they are made in Italy and the packaging is just absolutely beautiful and very reflective. I can see it reflecting off my lights there and really luxurious packaging too. It feels quite robust, the case. It's really beautiful. It has a very generous sized mirror inside. And here is the one rose. Absolutely gorgeous. And here is the number three blush and this is in coral. Absolutely gorgeous. I think these blushes are just beautiful. And so you've got the blush and the highlighter in one and they give a gorgeous flush of color to the cheeks. So I'm gonna take my Chukahodo, this is the F03 brush, and just sweep it round the pan. And it's such a beautiful color. It's quite subtle, 
and they are buildable and they have a really just a lovely subtle sheen to them as well they're just really beautiful What an absolutely beautiful blush. It has this really very super subtle sheen to it and then you get that really gorgeous flush of colour and it is buildable. Just beautiful. You get this very soft look. I think it's really flattering. It just looks absolutely gorgeous on the cheeks and I'm loving this too with the eyeshadow look. So with the eyeshadow and the blush together so far, I think this looks really, really pretty. And finally are the Fito Rouge Shines. The three colours that I got were number 10 and that is Sheer Nude. This is my absolute favourite out of the three, although they all are beautiful. Then I got number 11 and that one is called Sheer Blossom. And the third one that I got is number 20 and that is Sheer Petal. Now I would say that the formula of these is very similar to the Chantecaille Lip Sheeks. So they feel very hydrated on the lips, they give a beautiful shine and they just look really, really gorgeous. So these are made in Italy and they have 3 grams of product and each one does have a black velvet pouch and it has the Sicily logo on the front there and this is the packaging of them absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to swatch these on the back of my hand so you can take a look so this one is number 10 and that is sheer nude then we have number 11 and that one is sheer blossom and then finally this is number 20 and this one is sheer petal and these lipsticks do have a little bit of weight to them so they do feel very luxurious in the hand and the closure is just a click closure so today I'm going to use number 10 this is sheer nude this is my favorite and even though on the hand it doesn't look like much it just gives your lips but better look it's a really beautiful shade So I think that the finished look is really, really beautiful and this is definitely an everyday type of makeup look for me and when I finish this video, I do have to go out and do a few things and this look is just perfect for that and it would even be beautiful for the evening. The darker shadow in here is just gorgeous and I think the cocoa colour with the liquid highlighter and the champagne absolutely beautiful so really the only thing from my Sicily haul that I did quite a while ago that I didn't like is the mascara and that's because I just felt for me it just tended to clump my lashes together but all the other products are absolutely stunning the foundation and the powder together are a marriage made in heaven really beautiful and give this beautiful soft look to the skin and my pores are blurred and I think it looks really beautiful. It's a lovely, lovely foundation. And the blushes are just gorgeous. They are subtle but beautiful and really flattering, especially on mature skin. I think they're gorgeous. They give that beautiful sheen but they don't emphasize my texture absolutely gorgeous i love a nude lipstick and i think that the shade is just perfect especially during the day and the reason why i like nude lipsticks is if you have to reapply it during the day you don't need a mirror really to put it on they're just very easy to use and i do love the other two shades that i got as well but i do tend to reach for this one the most and that's because i just really love nude lipsticks so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.